Well, it's a big break in the case after Baltimore police make a gruesome discovery, finding a man stabbed to death and stuffed inside a storage container. Nearly one week later, investigators say they have learned the identity of the victim. Welcome to the News at 11. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. And police say that victim, 32-year-old Dustin Davis, his body put in that container right on the porch of a vacant home actually across the street from Druid Hill Park. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters downtown. Christina Mendez explains why this investigation is far from over. Christina, what are we learning? Vic and Rick, well, earlier this week, police actually released photos, pictures, sketches of these tattoos found on the victim's body, all in an, in an effort, really, to identify this victim. And now that they have, police are really working to find out who this killer could be. It's a sad thing because of somebody's son. The life of Dustin Davis ends at just 32 years old. Just to be put in a box and placed outside on the street, discarded like an animal. Um, it's ridiculous. Baltimore police found the victim's body in a box last Tuesday after reports of a foul odor coming from the porch of a vacant house on Holmes Avenue, a neighborhood sandwiched between Druid Hill Park and Mundowman Mall. It's bold and it's, it's making a statement. A week later, police sent out sketches of tattoos on his body, hoping to help make an ID. On Wednesday, the department confirmed it was Davis who was found stabbed to death and discarded. It's the crime in the city has to stop. I mean, and we as neighbors, as a community, we all have to get together. Neighbors say that can start by people speaking up. When people are scared about any, uh, you know, retaliation, so they don't say anything. But not saying anything makes it worse. Somebody saw something, and they should say something. Police do confirm that there was no missing persons report filed for Davis before this gruesome discovery was made. If you have any information that could help police in this case, give their department a call. I'm reporting live from Baltimore Police Headquarters in downtown. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.